Of course, the first thing we do before the trip is checking the weather. I'm going to Germany, Hanover. <laughs> Sounds like Hanover. Meteorologists there promise that it will be like 23, 25 degrees by Celsius. I'm going to put this pile in this backpack which I've had for years probably and it's neutral, it is very big, it has this pocket in front and the stripes to keep it on me, also this big apartment with pockets for something that shouldn't be wrinkled and a few pockets more. This is how it looks on me. Another smaller bag that I bought in Israel, it is actually about 10 years old, can you imagine? I'm telling you I will be wearing it 10 years more because it's hardier than my procrastination. It has this small pocket in the bag and of course inside of it. I I actually mended it once because fabric inside was bad, but now it's perfect. I'm taking one pair of leggings, one pair of jeans, one sweatpants, one pair of light bell bottoms and a skirt. I'll be sharing what I look like in those so that you got an idea. As you can see, all these type of pants are different because I like diversity so that I could choose what I'm wearing depending on my mood, for example. This skirt is actually my experiment. I didn't even find photo with it because I haven't been wearing it for ages. And in this trip, I want to check if I still like it or not, because a trip is just one special occasion. And if I find an opportunity to wear this skirt, then maybe I will give it a chance and will not declutter. But if I don't find opportunities to wear it, then it's time to get rid of it. If you watched my video about 333 project that I'm doing right now, you might notice or not, probably nobody cares. <laughs> that I stepped away from some of the rooms. It's because I needed to use other clothes rather than what I chose for this project. There will be an update soon about it, so if you'd like to see it, please subscribe. And it would be great if you hit this like button to help me spread the idea of simple living to the world. As to the tops, I'm taking with me these two similar by the style and different by colors long sleeve tops that perfectly pair with a lot of my stuff. I'm rolling everything in a sausage because I find it the most space saving. Then one graphic t-shirt. One top. And one tank top would be great for hot summer days. And if I get cold, I can put on a jacket. As you can see, everything is different because I like um, pairing different clothes and using different styles in my wardrobe. While I'm stuffing my backpack, I make sure I fill all the sides because I feel like the space on the sides um, gets neglected many times. I guess four underpants will be enough. And as to the socks, I get one, two, three, four pairs of socks. I find these small sacks uh, very useful for packing. I will link some of the similar sacks in the description if you're in the market for that. Another sack I'm gonna be using is for toiletries. Of course, I take with me my toothbrush and this is initially a shampoo that I'm using as multiple different stuff for my body when I'm on a trip. The razor, not sure I'm gonna be using it, but just in case. And deodorant, which is in this simple box. This all is from the local Grey Cosmetics company. Serum that I love really much and a little bit of toothpaste. I don't really like to take the whole tube with me. Some tissues and my menstrual cup because I'm planning to have my period soon. I don't wear makeup and also I don't need a hundred bottles for my skincare. This is why all of that doesn't take up that much space in my backpack. And even if you use a lot more stuff than I do, for a trip you could sacrifice a few of your bottles not to have too much stuff with you. As it's still warm in the end of the August, I decided to take only one jacket with me that I really love. It's white, so it's great to combine with anything. And I'm rolling the sausage again, putting it all in my backpack. There's not much space left, but still some, just in case I want to take something from Germany to Ukraine. A part of preparation is dyeing my eyebrows. My hobby says I look like a Brezhnev in this paint. <laughs> Do you agree with him? 
These are the things that I will need in my small bag, which is my cards and my travel pass. Do you remember this money from my last video that I wanted to throw away? I'm gonna give them a chance in Europe and some of the Ukrainian money uh, just for my weight. I'm taking a comb to take up less space than a brush, a phone charger, uh, my airpods, power bank and my phone. To kill some time on my way, I'm taking a book with me. I like to split all the valuable stuff like cards, money and tech between my two bags. This actually makes sense because if my small bag gets stolen, for example, I don't want to lose everything I had. And if my backpack gets stolen, I still don't lose everything I have because I have a part of some more important stuff in my small bag. Hope you get it. I put my lunchbox with food in the front pocket because I think that it's essential to have it on hand and I take a pair of sandals with me as an additional pair of shoes. Also I take slippers with me because I'm not sure I will have them where I'm going. And it is time to eventually close my backpack. Some snack and additional small stuff can be stored in this small bag, it's very convenient and as you can see it's half empty, so if I decide to, let's say, buy something additional, I can put it inside. For a convenient sleep in a car and in a bus, I'm taking this pillow with me, it saves my life all the time. Let's see the final try on, I really like that I'm having both of my hands free for, I don't know, some maneuver. I always prefer backpacks over some suitcases. Let me know, are you a suitcase or a backpack person? Share it in the comments. Usually I invite you to my Patreon page, but today I wanted to share good news with you. I'm launching my newsletter. This will be short articles about mindfulness, minimalism tips, slow living and how our brain works. It is completely free, you can unsubscribe anytime if you're worried about that. But if you're interested in a short, inspiring read every week, I really recommend you to join. The link will be in the description.